Welcome back to Matter of Fact. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. It's had that designation since 1949. And mental health organizations across the country call it a time to build resilience. Resilience is often fragile. For members of the LGBTQ community, mental health struggles can emerge as a result of traumatic experiences, the trauma of discrimination, trauma of harassment, trauma of rejection. Experts say resilience is dependent on radical self-acceptance. A young two-spirit couple from Nevada, Sean and Adrian, say radical acceptance has helped them break barriers in their Native American community. They're competitive sweetheart dancers, taking part in a celebration previously reserved for traditional couples at Native powwows. Here's their story. We are not the typical sweetheart pair that you would see out in the arena or dancing anywhere. Um, we are the first same-sex couple to go out there and compete with um, other couples. I am Adrian. I am Two-Spirit. I am also Shoshone Bannock, Northern Ute, and San Carlos Apache. I am Sean. I am Navajo. I am an artist, and this is my partner, Adrian. When I was younger, I, I can't think of a queer person publicly that represented me or my my lineage or my 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 culture and i never saw that in a space that which we're doing today we see our dancing as a way to honor our heritage and who we are so sweethearts is really being out there in that arena and showing your love and compassion for one another. We as a two-spirit couple have faced a lot of challenges, you know, being out there and just being open with ourselves and our identity. We pushed for that acceptance. We really fought for that space to be out there and amongst people. And it made our voices stronger and our presence stronger. We're, we're always there to encourage and support everyone else that is trying to, to be vocal. And I think it's, um, more important than ever for us as Native Americans or indigenous people to speak up about um, our identities and the issues that matter to us. It chokes me up to talk about it because we, um, we hear so many times of, of our two-spirit brothers and sisters um, leaving this world and leaving this world in a way that we don't want them to leave. It's really the, the power that, the love that we get from other people and especially other two-spirit relatives and friends that keep pushing us forward. I know that us being two-spirit and being very public has created the conversation for a lot of, a lot of Native homes. So they may not talk about it as they see us dancing, but there's a conversation to be had when they get in the car or on the ride home. And often it's very positive. In the last few decades, we've seen a much bigger acceptance within our Native American communities of our Two-Spirit people, and seeing that people standing up for them, making spaces, and protecting them, which is nice to see and very you know, hopeful for us that a lot of tribes and individual nations start recognizing their LGBT plus queer members and you know their rights and um, their identities. We've learned that we can change the the opinion almost of what people may think Two-Spirit is and then when they see us and how we carry ourselves and represent the community. Be proud, be true, keep dancing. The painting of Adrian and Sean was done by Native American artist Derek No Son Brown. He's of Shoshone, Bannock, Klamath, and Ashinobi ancestry.